Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Today we have to talk about a big thing, something that is closely related to our daily life, but seems a bit high-end. That is breaking the monopoly, China's own 4,500-ton photoresist project has entered the trial production stage. This matter is a great blessing for people, and we have to talk about it with everyone. What is photoresist? What does it have to do with us ordinary people? First of all, we have to explain it to those folks who don't know much about photoresist. This photoresist is not the kind of glue we usually use to stick things. It is a key material in the chip manufacturing process. Simply put, just like we need bricks and cement to build a house, we also need various materials to make chips, and photoresist is one of them, and it is also a very important role. So, what does this photoresist have to do with people? The relationship is huge. The electronic products we use now, such as mobile phones, computers, and TVs, all have chips in them. And the manufacturing of these chips is inseparable from photoresist. Therefore, the localization of photoresist is directly related to whether we can use cheaper and better electronic products. What is breaking the monopoly? Why is it so important? Speaking of breaking the monopoly, we have to understand a background. In the past, the photoresist market was mainly monopolized by some foreign companies. Although China can also produce photoresist, its technology is still a little worse than others, and its output is not enough. As a result, we seem a little passive in chip manufacturing. So why is breaking the monopoly so important? I think there are two main reasons. On the one hand, it is related to China's scientific and technological security and industrial security. If the photoresist is always monopolized by others, we will always be subject to others in chip manufacturing. If one day they stop supplying us or raise the price, we will be in trouble. Therefore, breaking the monopoly is to give us more autonomy and voice in chip manufacturing. On the other hand, breaking the monopoly can also bring real economic benefits. Think about it. If this photoresist can be localized, then we don't have to import it from abroad at a high price. In this way, the cost of chip manufacturing can be reduced, and people can buy electronic products more cheaply. Moreover, this can also drive the development and employment of related industries in China. What does the trial production of the 4,500-ton photoresist project mean? So, what does the trial production of the 4,500-ton photoresist project mean? We have to talk to everyone about it. First of all, this means that we have taken a solid step in the localization of photoresist. This 4,500 tons is not a small number. It represents that China's production capacity and technical level in this area have reached a certain level. Moreover, this is just the beginning. In the future, we may further expand the scale of production and improve the technical level. Furthermore, the trial production of the 4,500-ton photoresist project also means that our chip manufacturing supply chain is more stable and secure. In the past, 
We had to rely on foreign imports of photoresist, and the supply chain was very long. If there is a problem in any link, we will be in trouble. But now that we have our own production capacity, the supply chain is much shorter, more stable and safer. In addition, the trial production of the 4,500-ton photoresist project can also drive the development and employment of related industries in China. You think, the production of photoresist is not something that can be done by one or two people, it requires a lot of workers and technicians. In this way, more employment opportunities and economic benefits can be created in China. How will the localization of photoresist affect our lives? Speaking of the localization of photoresist, we have to look forward to the future. You think, the localization of photoresist will definitely have a profound impact on our lives. So, specifically, I think there may be the following aspects. First, the price of electronic products may be more affordable. You think, if the photoresist can be localized, the cost of chip manufacturing can be reduced. In this way, people can buy electronic products more cheaply. This is really good news for those of us who like to buy and buy. Furthermore, the localization of this photoresist may also promote China's development in the field of high technology. You think, with the support of this photoresist, we will be more handy in chip manufacturing. In this way, we may be able to develop more and more high-tech electronic products. This is a big deal for China. In addition, the localization of this photoresist can also make us more confident in international trade. You think, if we can produce photoresist ourselves, we will no longer be controlled by others. In this way, we can be more proactive and confident in international trade. This is also a big progress for China. Speaking of which, the trial production of this 4,500-ton photoresist project is really good news for people. It not only means that we have taken a solid step in the localization of photoresist, it also means that our lives will become better and more convenient because of the advancement of science and technology. Therefore, the Chinese people should thank those who have worked hard for the localization of photoresist. It is them who let us see hope and the future. At the same time, we also have to look forward to more and better technology products and services in the future. Let us welcome this new era full of technology and innovation together.